Hi, welcome to Greeklish Outdoors. Today we are looking at seven more items you probably should take with you camping. So, stick around. So, number one in my list often gets overlooked when you're out and about, especially when you're camping or hiking, and that is sunscreen. A good quality, a high factor sunscreen. I don't know where you are in the world, but here in Greece it gets very, very hot. The sun is very strong. You want to limit your chance of getting burnt, and of course, limiting your chances of getting skin cancer, which is why sunscreen is going at number one on my list of things you should take with you. Next on the list is a good quality headlamp. These are ideal, hands-free, when you're out camping. Preferably, you want one with a variety of different functions on it. This has a main light, different strengths of light, and it also has red, a flash, and a green light on it as well. Very handy to have one of these. As I said, hands-free, keeps your hands available for doing other things. Um, you can get these in a variety of different prices, styles, everything arranging from this one, which was a, a very reasonable 25 euros, I believe, up to ones of hundreds of pounds. Uh, you decide which one you want to get, but you want to get a, a fairly good quality one. Um, one you could preferably use um, rechargeable batteries, one that comes with an adjustable strap, very handy to have, which is why it's going on my list of things to take with you. Next on my list is some electrolytes or rehydration um, powders. Now they come in a variety of different forms. These are the tablets. You can get the sachets. You can get things like Dialerite or plain electrolytes like these. These are really useful, especially in summertime when you're getting hot, you're sweating, you're losing a lot of your salts from your body. You want to rehydrate, which you cannot do with just water alone. These are handy, come in little tubes, not that expensive. A couple of euros for a pack, come in different flavors. These ones are fortified with vitamin B, C and E. Just grab a tablet. If you've got a smaller water bottle, you just break it in half put it in your water bottle, allow it to dissolve, and then drink. If you're out in the wilderness, if you're out camping, you might just forget about this sort of thing, but they don't take a lot of space in your bag, so I recommend these, which is why they are going on my list. Right, next on my list is this. No, it's not another multi-tool. It is a fire starter tin. These are really handy to have um, when you're going camping, when you're out hiking, if you want to light a fire. You keep all your dry tinder inside here. Everything from a lighter, matches, a, uh, a steel and a ferro rod for igniting, some jute cord, some wax jute cord, some other different types of fire lighter, also some paracord which is unwound which will light very well and some shavings of uh, sap wood something like this will give you multiple options of lighting a fire it just could save your life you could even start your fire on the lid of the tin and then transfer it to a bundle uh, for making a larger fire which is why a fire starter tin is going on my list of things you should take with you camping Next is a small tarp. These are relatively inexpensive. You can get them from as little as five pounds, six euros, something like that. They often come with little eyelets where you can attach your cord. Ideally, you would pair this with a little bit of cordage or some, even some pegs. Multiple uses. You can put them on the ground as a picnic blanket. You can use them as a shelter. You can wrap them around yourself shelter yourself from the elements. Another thing for the summer, 
these are great for hanging up to give you a little bit of shade from the from the sun which is why this is going on my list so next on my list is a pretty obvious one but a first aid kit people often forget to take things like this with them and if they do take them with them they take often not the right things they probably just take a few plasters and things like that this particular one i have alcohol wipes wet wipes nitrile gloves bandages i also have some medicines and creams like things for bites paracetamol ibuprofen if you have a temperature antihistamines in here also some basic um, plasters or band-aids whatever you want to call them tweezers things for removing ticks and splinters and things like that out of there lots of different things which can help you out in a tight fix. One thing you might want to consider taking with you, especially if you're, you're doing a lot of things like sawing or chopping wood, is to take a tourniquet with you as well, which will attach to the side of something like this. Those can save you, really can save your life, which is why a mini first aid kit is going on my list. Right, last but certainly not least on my list is a decent insect repellent. In summer, spring, autumn, there are insects around, it's particularly mosquitoes. Depending where you are in the world, they can transmit anything from West Nile fever, dengue, malaria, and others. Um, I would recommend getting a high DEET concentration, like in this Jungle Formula One. Again, you just spray it on yourself and it will keep the bugs off. It can also be great to spray this on your extremities, on your legs, on your arms for protection against ticks, which of course can potentially give you Lyme's disease, which is a, not a pleasant thing to have. Which is why insect repellent is going on my list of things you should take with you camping. Right, that was my short list of uh, seven more things you'd probably take with you. Please let me know what you thought. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, lots more come up on the channel, so please do like, subscribe if you do enjoy the content. I hope uh, you're all well. Take care, much love, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.